Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing a practical skill that is the use of hemocytometer. Guys, we use hemocytometer to find the number of cells per millimeter cube in a sample. So for example, uh, if we take out a blood sample from a patient and if we want to know that what is the number of red blood cells per millimeter cube in that blood sample, we can find it out using hemocytometer. We can also uh, obtain semen sample uh, from a patient and we can use hemocytometer to find out the number of sperm cells per millimeter cube in the semen sample. So guys, what is actually hemocytometer? Hemocytometer is simply a microscopic slide. It's a thick microscopic glass slide which contains a grid, right? So what we do, we uh, prepare this slide using uh, the sample using the drop of the sample and this slide already has a grid on it, right? And then we observe the cells under the microscope So when we observe the cells under the microscope We see the grid around the cells because we are using the hemocytometer slide and what we do uh, We count the number of cells So how do we make counting of the cells when we use hemocytometer? the rule is that you count all the cells that you see except for the cells which are touching the bottom of the grid and the right of the grid, right? You do count the cells which are touching top of the grid and left of the grid. This is the rule. You can count all the cells which are not touching the ends. You can count the cells which are touching the top of the grid. For example, this one. You can count the number of cells which are touching the left of the grid, but you cannot count the cells which are touching the bottom and right side of the grid. This is the rule while counting the number of cells. So guys, when you count the number of cells, what you do next is that you are given with the area. You're given with the area of the grid. And how are you given the area? Basically, you are given the dimensions. For example, uh, the examiner will tell you the length of the grid and the, for example, width of the grid, right? So you can uh, multiply length into width or length into breadth to find out the area of the grid. You're also given the depth of the grid. So then you can find the volume of the grid, right? And the volume of the grid then can be used to find the number of cells per millimeter cube. How? For example, for example, I counted the red blood cells and they appear to be 100. I counted 100 red blood cells in this grid, for example. And for example, maybe uh, this grid has a length of 0 0.02 uh, millimeter and uh, width of uh, 0 0.02 uh, millimeter again and depth of, for example, 0 0.01 millimeter. So what we can do, we can find out the volume, right? And what will be the volume? Volume will be length into breadth into height. So let's find out the volume 0 0.02 into 0 0.02 into 0 0.01. Let's find this out. So if you multiply 0 0.02 by 0 0.02 and then we multiply the answer by 0 0.01 we get the volume that is 0 0.000004 millimeter cube so there are 100 rbcs right but this volume so we have 100 rbcs in which volume 0 0.5 zeros and 4 so how many rbcs will be in 1 millimeter cube because we have, we want to find what we want to find the number of rbcs per millimeter cube so how do we find that we simply what we will do that we will divide 100 by 0 0.5 zeros and 4 because we will cross multiply over here 
So what is the answer? 100 divided by 0 0.5 zeros and 4. So we get 25,000 thousand. 25,000 thousand RBCs. That is basically 25 million. Do you get this point? So this is we this is how we find out the number of cells per millimeter cube using hemocytometer. So the formula that we use over here, the formula that we use are the formula of the volume that is length into breadth into height, and this is the volume of the grid or this is we can say this is the uh, this is the volume of the grid and um, what other formula do we use? To find the number of cells per millimeter cube, what we simply do is that we divide the number of cells counted, number of cells counted in a grid or counted using a grid, counted using a grid divided by volume of grid. Right, so these are the formulae that you have to use to find the volume of, for example, sorry, to find the number of cells per unit volume or per millimeter cube. Let's solve this question that is given to us, question number two, part A. Figure 2.1 is a diagram of a sample of red blood cells on part of a counting grid. The blood has been diluted 200 times so that the cells can be counted more easily. A light microscope is used to view the counting grid. So guys, they are saying that this is a diagram of a sample of red blood cells. So this is a blood sample and uh, uh, it's uh, prepared using the hemocytometer. So there's a counting grid and they are mentioning that uh, the blood sample is diluted 200 times. So over here, they're also using a factor of dilution. I will come on to that in a while. They have mentioned that scientists count the number of red blood cells to estimate the total number of red blood cells in the blood. Cells that are touching the top and left side of the grid are counted, as I mentioned earlier. Cells touching the bottom and right side of the grid are not counted. State how many cells would not be counted in the sample in figure 2.1. So guys, uh, we have to state that how many cells would not be counted. So the cells touching the bottom of the grid and the right of the grid will not be counted. Let's find, find out those cells. So this cell is touching the bottom, it will not be counted. This will not be counted. Also, this will not be counted. This cell is touching the right, it should not be counted. So how many cells in total will not be counted? There are four cells which, not be, which will not be counted because one cell is touching the right side of the grid and three cells are touching the bottom of the grid. So four cells will not be counted. The rest will be counted. The actual size of the counting grid is 0 0.20 millimeter by 0 0.20 millimeter. The depth of the counting grid is 0 0.1 millimeter. Calculate the volume of the counting grid. So guys, we all know the formula of volume, length into breadth into height. So let's find the volume of the counting grid. The volume of the counting grid is 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.1. So what will be the answer? Let's find out. Point 0.2 into point 0.2 into point 0.1. The answer is 0 0.004. 0 0.004 millimeter cube is the volume. A different sample of blood was also diluted 200 times. Okay guys, so now they are talking about the factor of dilution. Sometimes they uh, are using uh, the diluted sample, right? So if we want to find the number of red blood cells per millimeter cube, considering the dilution factor, then the formula will be different. And what will be the different? What, what would be the difference in the formula? It's very simple. We discuss the formula. Uh, the formula to find the number of cells per millimeter cube was the number of cells counted in the grid divided by the volume of the counting grid, right? 
but if the factor of dilution is also considered you will multiply dilution the factor of dilution with uh with the red blood cells counted divided by volume of the counting grid to find the number of red blood cells per millimeter cube what i actually mean is that initially the formula was the number of cells per millimeter cube is equals to cells counted divided by the volume of the counted counting grid this was the initial formula right when the factor of dilution was not considered if the dilution factor is considered what we will simply do we will multiply the factor of dilution with the original formula and then we will get the number of cells per millimeter cube so i hope you get this so a different sample of blood was also diluted 200 times the number of red blood cells inside the sample size counting grid was 95 calculate the number of red blood cells per millimeter cube of the undiluted blood okay so guys we have to find the number of red blood cells per millimeter cube of the undiluted blood so we have to use the dilution factor in the formula and let's calculate so how many cells were counted 95 were counted and what was the volume of the grid 0 0.04 and how many times the sample was diluted 200 times so this is the additional uh, value that is added to the formula because the dilution factor is considered over here and we have to find the number of cells in the undiluted sample so the answer is 95 divided by 0 0.004 into 200 the answer is 4750000 that is um, 4750 000. this is the number of uh, cells in cells per millimeter cube so basically we can say it's um, 4 million and 75 7 uh, 4 million 7 lakh 50 thousand right or we can say 47 lakh 50 thousand we are done with the question thank you so much for watching